Label Studio is constantly improving. We would like to show you how video annotation in Label Studio will look like in the nearest future. This is how, but let's go through it step by step. Let's start from simple things. First, in video annotation you will see our new video controls. Video controls toolbar lets you play, pause, go to the next and previous frames. It shows the current frame, current time and total clip length. For some very simple video annotations this could be enough. We can create regions, move and resize them to track objects. But we obviously need more fine-tuning. To do that we use the timeline. The timeline is a panel with all regions represented in time. Here we can create keyframes. Regions are automatically interpolated between keyframes. So we don't need to annotate each frame manually. Unless we don't need our regions anymore. We can cut off our region lifespan, for example, if the object is out of frame. Or we can reintroduce the same region again if the object enters back the frame. However, just the timeline is not enough for us, since we might need to work with regions as we used to in Label Studio. Let's exit full screen mode we were in all this time. We call this panel the Outliner, and it's basically the same panel that you used to see in Label Studio at the right side, where all the regions are usually listed. But in the Outliner you have even more controls. You can group regions, for example, by their label or control tags. You can sort them by different parameters. And you can lock or temporarily hide regions here. The outliner works not just for video annotation, but for every type of annotations. But what if you need to add some metadata to your region, not for its entire lifespan, but just for a segment between certain keyframes? There is the details panel for that. The details panel displays all the information about whatever you select in the canvas where you annotate. If you select a certain region, you can see details about it, including its keyframes. And you can add extra meta information to any keyframe you want. The details panel also includes the information about the frame that is currently selected in the timeline and about the entire annotation when nothing is selected in the canvas. In case with video annotation, we think it's enough to use the timeline and the details panel so you can hide some parts of the interface you currently don't need. And here we get that video annotation layout that we showed you at the beginning. It includes all the controls and instruments to quickly and conveniently annotate videos. All these new parts of Label Studio interface is currently in the works and we will keep you updated. Stay tuned. Thank you.